a 47-year-old male was referred for US-guided final biopsy of multiple pancreatic lesions that, on CT imaging, was suggestive of neuroendocrine tumours. At CT, the patient was observed to have three mass lesions, one in the head, one in the neck, and one in the body of the pancreas. An extended Whipple resection was planned. At EUS, the patient was found to have three solid mass lesions as observed on CT imaging, one in the head, one in the neck, and one in the body of the pancreas. However, two additional lesions missed at CT were observed at EUS in the distal pancreas. One was a 14 by 12 mm cystic lesion that on CT was misconstrued as a benign cyst. At EUS, the cyst was found to have a predominant solid component suggestive of a cystic degeneration of the neuroendocrine tumour. Another small mass was seen in the pancreatic tail, measuring 5 by 4 mm. Artificial intelligence integrated EUS was able to identify all five lesions in the pancreas. Final biopsy of the pancreatic mass lesion confirmed the diagnosis of a neuroendocrine tumour. This is the take-home message from this case. A thorough preoperative EUS examination of the pancreas is mandatory in patients with suspected neuroendocrine tumour. EUS is more sensitive than CT imaging in diagnosing pancreatic neuroendocrine tumours and the findings have major implications for patient management. The integration of AI in EUS is likely to help identification of small tumours that can be missed by less experienced endoscopists or human error. If you want to learn evidence-based practices and know more about state-of-the-art endoscopy technologies, please attend Florida Live Endoscopy from August 22nd to 24th, 2024 in Orlando, Florida, where advanced interventions will be performed by internationally reputed faculty from around the world. Please join us at Florida Live, where the magic of endoscopy begins.